welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel, the owner and creator here of The Eclectic Cottage in Spokane, Washington. Happy Tuesday. Uh, for today's video, I did have a thrift haul for you. My husband and I went out on our uh, Sunday junk run and managed to score some pretty cool stuff. I'm really excited to show some of it to you. Uh, for those of you who've been following along, you know I had a pretty exhausting week last week and I didn't have any time to get into my kitchen and create anything last week. So I am really looking forward to doing that and getting back in here and uh, painting some things and getting some stuff done for Friday's video. So that will definitely be some sort of a thrift flip for you. But for today, I thought I would show you some of the great stuff we did find on Sunday. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I am gonna start with uh, what's here at my feet so I can kind of get it out of the way so I don't trip and fall and hurt myself. Um, this is probably one of my favorite finds that we got on Sunday. Ooh, it's this old, adorable rocking horse. Uh, he was six bucks and um, I just think he's so cute and I'm really kind of thinking I am going to dress him up somehow for Christmas. I don't want to do a whole heck of a lot to him. He's in pretty good shape. I might actually repaint the black um, and then re-distress it just because there are quite a few marks in the black paint. Uh, but other than that, he's really super cute. So I grabbed him for $6. I'm just going to set him on over here. So I don't hurt myself. <laughs> so I'll just finish up too with the stuff on the floor. Might as well get it out of the way. So I found this. I like this a lot. I might actually put it on my own Christmas tree here in the cottage. It was two bucks. I just thought it was pretty and sparkly. Um, just a, a nice little, you can hang it on your wall. Um, or like I said, use it as a Christmas tree topper, which I might do. So we'll see. I grabbed that. And then I'm always on the lookout for good wreaths at a decent price. Sometimes they're a little bit pricey when you go to the Goodwill. Uh, this one I thought was really pretty. It's nice and full. It only has the one type of greenery, which is kind of a bummer, but it is a nice full little wreath. Um, and it was only $3.99, so I grabbed that. And then this one was still brand new in the box. Um, it's really pretty. It's got uh, just the single kind of greenery, but it's got lots of nice things and I love the bow. Um, and this one, gosh darn. Of course I can't find the price. Oh, there it is. It was $6, so $5.99 for this. So I grabbed that as well. So a lot of their wreaths, it was crazy, but um, there were some in there that were smaller than that one. They wanted $15 for them new. So I left those there. Anyway, my husband found this. I know it has nothing to do with Christmas, but it was a green tag, which was half price. And it is very, very heavy, a uh, really nice uh, uh, frame on this. It's kind of a wood that this is painted on. Um, and I just love the little chicken. So I've got lots of chickens out, out in the shop now. And so this will kind of go in with those guys, but I thought it was pretty, so I grabbed it. And uh, with a green tag, it made it $5. So that was the main reason. So there's that. Um, I'm gonna show you my favorite thing that I found all day, other than the rocking horse, probably a close second. But this snowman was so cute. My husband found this, because we walked in Goodwill and I went straight back to the back where I know all the stuff is. And he meandered around up front where they had some Christmas stuff set and found this and brought it back to me. So he was a little expensive, he was $8, but he's in perfect shape. Um, totally fits the uh, color scheme in my cottage here. And I just absolutely love him, <laughs> I think he's adorable. So um, anyway, I was, ugh, hair. I was willing to pay $8 for him. So even if I only get, uh, you know, like 16 for him, um, he needs a little bit of a bath, uh, that would be perfect. So anyway, so I grabbed him. With the rocking horse. So then, um, then I make, the other thing I really liked was this tree. Um, I'm not sure. I have a couple of these from Pottery Barn. I know that this 
I don't think this one came from Pottery Barn, but it's really heavy. I think it's actual real mercury glass. And it was, it was again, it was $8. Um, if I can't sell it here at the cottage, I will take it home and put it in my house because I have a bunch of trees just like this in my house. So um, I just really liked it, so I grabbed it. And then this teapot I thought was super cute. This is another thing my husband found. Um, $4. Just thought it was super cute. Um, I actually have a, a cup out in the cottage that will kind of match this. Uh, so, and I thought, again, for $3.99, I had to have it. Then I'm always on the hunt for stocking holders. Uh, they seem to go over pretty well. I found these two snowflakes that were pretty, um, $2.99 a piece. I don't know that I'm going to do anything to these guys. I might just put them out the way that they are. <clears throat> And then this reindeer, same thing. This one's even a little heavier than the snowflakes and it was only $1.99. Uh, so I grabbed that. This one might have to get painted. It's been roughed up pretty well, um, it looks like. So it might get a coat of paint on it. So we'll see. I usually, what I'll do with these is spray them either black or white um, or cream and then put a spray, uh, clear coat spray over that and then put them out on the floor. And then I found also this pine cone and he is, I'm just going to leave him alone. I love this kind of aged bronze look to him. And this one was also $3. So I got all four of those. So that's those. And then, you know, cause Easter's coming. So I couldn't pass up these rabbits. Um, I found this guy and these were all at the same Goodwill. I don't know, they were just super cute. But so I found this one, they were all $2.99. And then I found these two, also $2.99, um, on different aisles at the same Goodwill and they're totally match. And I don't think I'm gonna do anything to these guys. I think they're just really sweet the way they are. Uh, but for three bucks, I couldn't leave them there. So I grabbed those. Then I like this look. I've always kind of liked this, the ivory with the little bits of gold on it. Um, if you saw me do my tree in a frame, that's kind of what I was going for is this, this little bit of a look. Uh, and this was only $2.99 and I just thought it was super sweet and pretty. So I'll put this out in a vignette in the cottage. And then the matching uh, church lamp. So this lights up. I think it's got a C7, yeah, C7 bulb in there. Um, so I haven't checked to make sure it works. Uh, it's not very hard to fix it if it doesn't, but it was only $5.99 and I just really liked it. I went over it with a fine tooth comb and made sure nothing was chipped or cracked or broken. Looks like it's in really good shape. So, and it's always nice to have things that light up kind of sitting around this time of year. I just, the lights are what it's all about for me. <laughs> so, so there's that. Then this little ivory angel, she definitely needs a bath. I don't really want to have to paint her. I'm hoping once she's clean, she'll be good to go. Uh, she was only $2.99 um, and I just thought she was sweet. So I grabbed her. Then who doesn't love a little copper tea kettle? I thought this little guy was so sweet. Uh, $4.99. Got this cute little uh, wood handle. I don't know why there's a plug in there, but there is. Um, anyway, I just thought it was cute. So I grabbed it for $5. Here we go with already trying to stack things on top of one another. And then if you follow me much, you know that I like pots. I have my plants indoors here. So I tend to put a few pots around with the plants. And um, this time of year, it's nice because they're not overly priced. Um, they, this one was $2.99. It seems like during the summer, they really kind of jack up the prices on the pots. So if I can find them this time of year for a little cheaper, I always do. But I just thought the blue was pretty. And again, just $2.99. So I grabbed it. Then this one, also just really pretty. I like the colors. This would actually fit in uh, with my Christmas decor. <laughs> so, and this one was only $1.99, so I grabbed it too. <coughs> so that's the, yeah, that's probably, 
probably not a good idea to stack them on top of each other. Then, um, tragic story this morning. I was getting everything out of the car and getting things in here ready to rock and roll for this video. And I have two of these and I dropped one and broke the rim of it. Uh, I love them. I think they're beautiful. These I like because they're nice and big and you can just use them as a riser for other decor instead of just a candle holder. Uh, so that's why I grabbed them. They were $4.99 a piece. So I am going to do my best to fix the other one and then they'll probably honestly both. I was going to leave them because I thought they were kind of pretty the way they were, but now they'll probably get a paint job so that they match when I'm done fixing the other one. So those were that, or that were the, whatever, <laughs> that was those. And then um, I have another one of these actually at my booth over in Coeur d'Alene that's red. I think these are just so pretty, um, these little bead baskets. I love the color of this one, this green. And so this one was $4.99. Uh, and um, so, and I've sold a couple of them over the years. So I will put this again in one of our, one of our booths probably. So there's that. I grabbed this big set of wood candle holders. Um, I think in my humble opinion, you really can't do Christmas vignettes without some candlelight so um, even if it's the pretend candles that just kind of flicker I think it's I think they just have to be there so I always like finding candle holders to put in my vignettes here um, and these are filthy I don't like the fact that they have the little pin at the top for the candle so those will probably get cut off um, and then they will more than likely get a paint job um, so but they were $3.99 and $4.99, which isn't horrible for these since they are solid wood. They're nice and heavy. Um, not like that cheap, chintzy kind of whatever kind of wood that they use on some of them that cracks open and splits if you get it wet. It's horrible. Anyway, so I found, actually, my husband, John, found this um, for $1.99. I thought it was kind of cute. It's always nice to have little shelf sitters or things that can go on the wall for this time of year. So for two bucks, I grabbed it. And this little flower bucket, so cute and very Christmassy just by itself. <laughs> Um, $3.99. I have a feeling what I'm going to do with this is put a transfer on it. I have a really pretty deer head that would look good on here and also a red truck that might go on here. So I haven't decided which is which one's going on this one yet, but um, I have a feeling that's what's going to happen with this. And I just thought it was cute and it'll be perfect for Christmas. So, and it was $3.99. So grab that. It needs a bath. It's very dirty. Um, the Choo Choo Train picture, brand spanking new. This is one of those that has the little um, lights built in, so it'll light up when it has batteries in it. Um, it. Originally, the price on this was $22. I picked it up at the Goodwill for six bucks. Um, I won't make a ton of money on it, uh, but honestly, if I don't sell it here, I'll take it home because I really like these. I think they're so pretty. So I grabbed that. <laughs> And then this little sled I thought was super cute. I like the colors that it is. I think it's really just perfect. I like the handle and the lights work. So I was excited for that because I, I was kind of curious if they did or not and they do. So I grabbed that. It was a little expensive at $6, but um, I thought it was worth it. Lay him down. Hopefully, I don't step on it. Oh, another <laughs> look. I had a stocking holder stuck in the back. So this guy's really heavy. He almost looks pewter. I know he's probably not, uh, but he was only 99 cents. And again, probably going to get a paint job just because he is kind of scratched up and a little ratty. Um, but I think once he's painted, he'll be so cute uh, and out with the other ones. So I grabbed him. And then I have another one of these, almost exactly the same color, this little bit of rose gold. I love uh, being able to put a little bit of this faux mercury glass rose gold in some of my vignettes too. I love the shine of it. Uh, and this was only $2, so I grabbed it. <coughs> and then, let's see, we did these. Move this guy over here. 
this little lace doily I grabbed for, it's like a little tablecloth, it's square. It's in really, really good shape. Um, one thing that I like, I like having these around, especially uh, when I freshly painted a piece of furniture and the wax isn't completely cured before I really want to put anything on that. I, I like to put something between whatever's going on it and the surface. So these are great to have around just for that. Uh, I think I paid, I paid $6 for it. So worth every penny. And I always check them over really good to make sure they're not stained up or anything. And that one didn't seem to be him over here. This little kindling holder I grabbed. This is the culprit for the other candle holder breaking because I had them both in here and the one just kind of flipped out <laughs> and broke. So, but I thought this was nice. I had one in the shop before and it sold pretty quickly. Um, this was only $5.99. I will leave it just as is. What I'm thinking is I do have that fireplace screen that I am rolling around ideas for in my head. And once I settle on something, I will get it painted. And I thought with the fireplace screen and this kindling, hold, kindling holder and the rocking horse all together would be super, super cute uh, as like a little Christmas display. So um, I will probably save this and put it out when, when I'm ready. So, but six bucks, I figured might as well grab it. And then can more candle holders because I'm a sucker for the candle holders. I like these little narrow taper holders. I've got one out there that's actually weathered wood with white wax on it. I will probably paint this the same so that I have kind of a matching set. Uh, and this was only $1.99, so I grabbed that. This one, nice wood, another one. This seems to be solid wood, $3.99 for this one. So, and it will get a paint job at some point. And then this mercury glass one, I almost left, but I decided I, I do like the height of it. Um, it. I don't think it's real mercury glass. It's got this seam all the way down it. Um, and it came from, it was actually, what's funny, is it was at Value Village and it was only $3.99 at Value Village and then uh, Goodwill jacked up the price to $4.99. So I paid $4.99 for it. Wish I would have found it at the Value Village, but I didn't. Anyway, um, it'll be pretty and I can put a little piece of decor or another candle holder on top of this for some height and a vignette, which is good. And then I found, we're almost done. Holy cow, we went really fast. <laughs> found this little red metal sled. Uh, this one is in really, really good shape. Um, this would be super cute with like a Santa sitting in it um, or just some greenery uh, or a candle holder. So I grabbed that, it was only $3.99. So I, I thought it was cute. And then lastly, this little box, which has nothing to do with Christmas again. Um, my husband's like, what are you going to do with that? And I, I said, I don't really know yet, but it has potential. Um, it just, it looks to me like art supplies would go really well in here. I'm thinking I might look and see if I can find some actual little handles for these drawers. Um, or maybe the little tags, like the little metal tags that go in here. Um, Anyway, I'm going to do something fun with it, paint it up cute. So this will probably be way down the road though at this point. So um, we'll see. Maybe I'll do something for spring with this. We'll see what happens. Uh, but anyway, that is it for today's video. So I hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed all of my finds and that we found at the Goodwills this week. And uh, if you did like the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Uh, and then if you just hit the little notification bell so you don't miss anything, that's helpful. And I would love to hear from you and let me know which of my finds was your favorite this go round. Uh, I think for me still uh, the tall snowman and then probably a really close second is the rocking horse. So let me know what you guys think. Anyway, I've got to start cleaning up some of this stuff out of my kitchen. So I need to start working through some of it. So. It will definitely be a thrift flip on Friday. So I hope you'll join me for that. Thank you so much for being here today and I will see you on Friday. Have a great week. Bye.